Uh, the data we believe is very strong. This is for a limited number of patients. It's not for any patient with severe MRS, only for those that are not surgical candidates who really have no option. Now, life with severe mental re regurgitation is really terrible. They're short of breath, they cannot breathe, they cannot walk, they feel very weak, and it's a very slow progression towards a miserable death. So this has become a terrific option for these patients where medicines cannot do anymore, and surgery is not an option. Statistically, very sophisticated work demonstrated, and indeed the clip was safe, had minimal safety issues, much less unexpected. That way it's safer than surgery. And the effectiveness was very acceptable. 85% of patients have less than two plus metro regurg after 30 days, which is very good. 50% of patients have less than one plus metro regurgitation. So we're in strong support of this as a compassionate way to improve the life of these patients that are suffering so much. It is true that there is a propensity matching of the high-risk cohort with a group of patients from the Duke database, done by the most sophisticated statisticians. Very adequate clinically, very appropriate for us to know how does this compare to doing nothing. But the FTA, uh, as I said, chewed up that data mm -hmm. and made a long presentation on why that's not perfect. Mm -hmm. I understand it's not perfect, but it's, in our opinion, it's very good. The Society for Cardiac and Geography Intervention is in full support of this being done in an organized fashion by expert cardiac teams, cardiologists and heart surgeons, with adequate guidelines, with adequate appropriateness use criteria, with a TBT registry that would follow these patients through the years. So we can always be learning better how to select them how to treat them, etc. Mm -hmm. And we've done that with the aortic valve percutaneous replacements very successfully. So that's what we said that we had that model to follow mm -hmm. with this new percutaneous device for the mitral valve. Yeah, in our own experience, we've had some patients with dramatic improvement, uh, some with wide open mitral regurgitation, where the heart was pumping, so to speak, more backwards and forward. And after the mitral valve clip, they had essentially undetectable mitral regurgitation, minimal if any. That, that's very impressive to us cardiologists and very nice for those patients. Obviously, they breathe better. The cardiac output is moving forward. It's not moving back into the lungs. Mm -hmm. So in some patients, the, the effectiveness is spectacular. Mm -hmm.